So, ladies and gentlemen, we are with September almost the last three days remaining. Today is 29th, then 30th, 31st, and then we have 1st of September. The year is almost about to be over in a few months. So, for every ascendant, what should you do? What are the things that you can focus on? Or what are the things that could happen in your life? It is of where you focus all right and as you know from 1st to 15th sun will be in the sign of leo then it will move to virgo from 15th of september till end of september so i have taken both the things into consideration so here it is aries ascendance first from 1st to 14th sun is in your fifth house because leo is there right so that means your focus will be on creativity it could be all children it could be all education it could be on refining your intelligence it could be on finding a new job also at times because the eighth from the tenth is the fifth so it's like the rebirth of your profession okay so you might get a new job or if your basha is very bad, uh, you might also have troubles with your job, all right? Not everybody tells you that fifth house can also cause troubles in your job, all right? So be on the look lookout. And if you have some creative ideas and you want to implement, then don't waste time. And then from 15th uh, to 30th September, sun will move into your sixth house in the sign of Virgo. So that is the time where you might want to implement some of the things that you will study or you will learn, you will reflect on. So this period, the later half of the month, will be a period of practical implementation of your of the things that you will do in the first 15 days. So therefore, in the first 15 days, plan and execute in the next 15 days. All right. Thank you so much, Elise. Take care. Now we are with Taurus, Taurus Ascendance, the first 15 days, this transit will be in your 4th house. Leo is in your 4th house. Then, because of this 4th house transit, you will want to focus on your family, your mother, your home. Could be some repairs also within the house or some interior design or you know some repairing of the car. And you will want to focus on stability. So this is a period where if you do not have stability in life, you may feel that something is missing, okay? You may feel something is not right in your life. So, the first 15 days, you should aim for stability. And if you are able to find stability, that's brilliant. But aspire for it. And the next 15 days, sun moves to your fifth house, which will bring, you know, attention to creativity, children, romance, and yeah, new job or, you know, different job or changing your domain within your profession. So therefore, fourth house, as you know, the first 15 days is also your education and fifth house is more, it's more like what you get out of the knowledge. Okay. So therefore, for you professionally also, this month is a great time to revamp your skills and your knowledge set and to actually see what are you learning? Is it fructifying? Is it giving you uh, good results? Are you able to use that in your profession or not? So these are things which you should identify. Okay, that's very important. So therefore, learn and execute, but learn and also plan. All right? All the best, Taurus. So now we go to Gemini. The first 15 days, Sun is in Leo, which is your third house. So your communication skills will be important. You might want to go for a new job or you know you might have short distance travels and you might have a uh, you you might have some kind of a re uh, relationship struggle with your siblings okay it it does not have to be a struggle but there could be some friction so be on the look now and in the next 15 days sun will move into your fourth house where you will focus on your family home your inner peace okay so this month will be a combination of two things. It will be a combination of instability and then stability. So therefore, if 
So I'll tell you what you should do during this month. If there is some area in your life where you are struggling, it could be anything, you know, health, profession, home, marriage, it doesn't matter. Suppose there is an area where you are struggling and you are wondering what you should do in life. In that area, should you stay there or leave it? So I would suggest the first 15 days, you try your best to settle everything. And if it does not settle, then maybe it's time to leave it. All right. Otherwise, it will ruin your stability. So therefore, try to try to find peace in the later half of the month. But in the initial half, you should try and give 100%. Try your best. And even after that, if things don't work out for you, maybe it's time to let go. All right. Good luck, Gemini. Now we go to Cancer. Cancer Ascendants. What's going on? So this transit will affect uh, this month. The most important transits will be in your second and your third house, right? So, so it's like a combination of these two houses. Now, second house shows your family, your finances, your speech. And third house shows your communication. So, now what, how do you differentiate, you know, speech and communication? Actually, speech is a part of communication. So, therefore, now it is a time where in the month of September, you utilize this period, these 30 days, to improve your presentation skills by looking into your second house. Now, what does this mean? This means you present yourself, you suppose there's a conflict with somebody, you present your ideas, okay? You present what can be done, what is your expectation, and you try to do a negotiation. But don't forget that you you cannot negotiate beyond a certain extent. So if you feel that you are negotiating too much, you know, then maybe you might have to sacrifice certain things. Or if the other party feels they are sacrificing too much, then you have to give away some of uh, your resources. So the negotiation will be there and your resources, your family and everybody will be involved in that. Now, of course, it depends on your dasha, you know, so for example, if suppose you are going for arranged marriage this time, then maybe there are there are some negotiations which will happen between you and your future in-laws, okay? So that's how it will turn out. But don't forget about yourself, your resources, and don't forget to communicate. This is a time where you will have to speak up for yourself. If you don't speak up, oof, you cannot expect much good things. You will be on the losing end, okay? So speak up and don't be mum. Right? Take care, Cancer. Leo Lagna. Initially, first house, then second house. Okay. Very, very, very important. So, Surya will enter your first house. It will enhance your personal power, you know, self-expression. I mean, he does not have to enter. He's already in your first house. Sorry. <laughs> he will enter the second house after you, 15th of September. <clears throat> So then you will emphasize on your finances, you know, family value, self worth, all this. So what does this mean? This means initially the month will kick off by thinking about yourself. Who are you? What are you doing? Why are you existing? What are you doing in life? You know, all your areas, they will be very prominent. And eventually you will start to think what is that which is valuable in my life? So for example, if you are in a relationship, you are married, then now you will not just think of your marriage, you know, in, in terms of like, oh, is it going good or bad? You know, how is it? No, not just that. You will also think that, okay, my marriage is maybe good or bad. Even if it is good, how is the quality? Are we able to, uh, are we both able to not just, uh, you know, merely stay together? Are we able to grow with each other? If not, then you will try to improve the value. So, for you now, the most important thing is to focus on quality. So, look, have a so ascendant is the is like the summary of all the areas in your life. <laughs> so, therefore, if you are, if you have certain things in your life, which I'm sure you do, they may be less or more valuable, but you need to focus on the quality. So, try to get your life in order first, the first 15 days. And then the remaining 15 days, 
try to understand the purpose behind all this okay so initially you should focus on ordering and then on quality all right wish you all the best leo now we go to virgo virgo ascendance the first 15 days oof surya is in your 12th house right and then he moves to your ascendant <laughs> this is a good thing actually so it's like saying you are sinking and then suddenly somebody lifts you. Okay. So it's exactly like that. So Virgo people, you may suddenly feel, okay, what the hell is going on? You know, what's going on in my life? I'm not able to understand anything. You know, I'm confused. You know, I'm having problems, disease, you know, this, that. And it's like causing mayhem overall. But now when... After 15 days, sun enters your ascendant. You will start to feel that now I am able to get a better picture of myself. Okay. So, if you if you are feeling lost and if you feel that you no know, nothing is working out in your life or you are not good at anything, then wait for the first 15 days to get over. After that, you will actually feel things are much better. Now, when I say better... I don't mean they they will, you know, radically improve okay, after 15th. But after 15th, you will be in a position to take control over certain things. So, for example, even if certain things are bad, you can, you know, talk, you can negotiate, you can do something. But till 15th, you may feel life is just going. In. <laughs> and there's nothing much you can do. Okay, so therefore, yeah, take your time. And uh, reflect on the things that went wrong. And eventually after that you will find success. Alright. Take care. Now. Libra Lagna. What is going on Libra? So for you Surya will be in the 11th house the first 15 days. And then he will enter your 12th house. Okay. So. Uh, this is a very unique placement. Uh, 11th to 12th. So. 11th house is. The house of gains and 12th house is losses. So, are you like going to lose your gains? Does it mean that? Well, uh, could be, but may not be also. I'll tell you what what else could happen. So, one scenario is yes, of course. You earn a lot of money or you earn some name fame, you know, in the first 15 days. And yeah, and then after that, in the next 15 days, you kind of lose it. Okay, lose a part of it. So, that is one possibility. Or it could happen that you try your best and you get something, but it does not give you that satisfaction which you wanted. Okay, so it basically means you may not lose what you get in the first 15 days, but you may be forced to reflect upon the worthiness of your achievements. Which means if you if you are if you get achievements or if you are already having some achievements in the last two months then this is a period where you should actually, you know, try and see that does these things make sense? If not, maybe it's time you do something else in life. Because if you're just doing things in a way that, you know, it's just like, uh, it's very superficial or just because you are getting results, but it may be that, you know, you don't actually need that or, you know, you, you don't identify with that. So, or you are doing it because, you know, you are showing, you are away, liking to show it off to others. Okay, so therefore, please understand that now is the time when you just do run after things materially. But this month is a period where you should also try to find the reasons behind why you are doing something and what is it. Is it of value? All right. Take care, Libra. Now, Scorpio Ascendant. The first 15 days, Surya will be in your 10th house. Then he goes into your 11th house. I think you are the winner of this month. All right. So, almost nothing negative here. It's primarily positive. 10th house, Surya will enhance your career, public image, professional achievements. And sun in the 11th will help you focus on friendships, you know, goals, network circles. So, Scorpio Ascendants, if there was a time 
where you are feeling i should now put everything into my profession maybe now is the time <laughs> it's a do or die situation right scorpios you may be feeling oh i i need to do it you know there's something very urgent there is something which you there's something which you which you have to do or not just need you know you have to it's like you must do it there is a compulsion there there are deadlines there are targets which you have to achieve so therefore you cannot rest september is not the month to rest all right so therefore do your best give 200% and don't waste any period any any second take good rest but go for networking events take leadership responsibilities in your company and it will be the most amazing month for you all right scorpio take care amazing time don't waste a single moment also take care sagittarius lagna initially surya is in your ninth and then he will move into your 10th so in the ninth he will he is actually already in your nine so he's highlighting your higher education you know travel spiritual pursuits and then we when he enters your 10th house surya will emphasize your career status public life all this <laughs> sorry so this is a period where you need to think big in life this is not a period where you are just hovering around and you know saying saying superficial things so the ninth house is the highest of all the world houses but a ninth house is not an easy house what does it mean it does not mean it's a difficult house but the ninth house forces you to look deep down within you do you have that which is required to be successful so the ninth house is the house of sadhana where you are you know connecting to god you are reading you are learning you are actually getting to know about the process so that's the ninth house so initially you do that and then you go and implement it so in the 10th house in the next 15 days so this is a brilliant period for you to actually go and learn things and implement them in your profession now this could also mean you leave your job and you start your own business and that could also be the case and it could also mean that you are learning something more within your existing profession so it does not have to be a change of job or you know a new job or change within your domain or something like that but it can mean you are becoming a greater version of yourself so this is a fantastic period for you <clears throat> to actually rediscover yourself and to try and understand what are you doing actually in your profession what is that which excites you why are you doing it how can you develop a greater vision in life so the most important thing for you sagittarius is develop a vision for your profession and your life will be successful all right take care Capricorn ascendant Surya in your eighth now for the first fifteen days and then he goes into your ninth. Good bad, good bad. <laughs> so Surya in the eighth will give you focus on transformation, you know, show shared resources and other deep matters. So, and then when Surya moves to your ninth, you will you will learn more about yourself, right, or about something else. <laughs> and he will highlight travel you know long distance travel and then higher learning philosophical interests so what should you do during this month this is the month where you should try to find yourself because the eighth house is deep inside the oceans it is like the graveyard okay, where things end so the first 15 days you must try to find your weaknesses and i know you will say oh why should you work on weaknesses and you know why should you, you should only work on your strengths uh, i mean 
of course you should work on your strengths but if you have so many weaknesses which are pulling you down that even if you increase your strengths it won't be of much value because you will be dragged down always so therefore this is a period where you need to understand that you have to work on your weaknesses but at the same time with optimism so initially the first 15 days you may feel that things are not working out in your favor or you know things are not going as expected you are a bit frustrated it could happen but in the next 15 days it is very likely that you find some solution so be patient and tolerate things even if things are very difficult you need to understand it it will be difficult material world is not an easy place so don't think it's going to be easy therefore you must understand that first i have to know my weaknesses and then i work on them and ninth house as you know is the guru guide counselor so if you if you are confused then you know take guidance from somebody and yeah do do your best okay so approach an astrologer for a consultation or you know, go and talk to your shiksha guru your diksha guru or your father or you know, any 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 elder person in the family It could be your mother grandfather grandmother anybody okay and by doing that you will come out of your weaknesses all right all the best capricorn now Aquarius Surya will be in your 11 7th house the first 15 days he is already there and then he will move into your 8th house so the 7th house is you know emphasizes relationships partnerships your married life your contracts deals negotiations and the 8th house brings focus on shared resources transformation and occult matters okay so this is a month for you where you need to identify the most prominent stakeholders in your life and then in the rest half of the second 15 days of of this month you have to deepen your relationships with them so you need to spend quality time with the people because the 8th house shows the quality of your relationships not just marriage okay so therefore if you have bad relationships not bad but if you don't have a great relationship you know with your colleagues then maybe it's the time for you to spend more time with them you know go, go out with them for a coffee or you know lunch or dinner somewhere and along with this if you if you feel that you need to you know yeah i mean sometimes people become like a part of your family okay even if they are your colleagues they may or may not be but sometimes they can be so so if you if you are facing problems in relationships with anybody then now is the time that you try to ask where is the fundamental problem try to do some research so if somebody is not happy with you or you are not happy try to convey this to that person and try to ask the same question to that person and my dear sir madam why are you not happy what is that which is bogging you up and this could be with anybody with your mother father your neighbor anybody so essentially to summarize in short conclusion for september for you is that learn who matters and how you can improve your relationships with them all right take care aquarius now last but not the least always we go to pisces pisces this transit uh, of sun will be in your 6th house for the first 15 days it is already there and then it will move into your 7th house okay now this is a this is a very tricky time why do i say tricky because i tell you what you should do during this month so see what is happening initially uh, the transit is you know in your 6th house right so when there's a transit in your 6th house what happens you become too self centered too much you're thinking always about yourself okay and when you're being self centered then what happens people are disappointed with you now it does not mean that you uh, you should not be self centered but 
you need to understand that other people also matter. So therefore, you have to see how you can become a team player. So initially your focus will be on just to just to be there as an individual. But later on, you need to understand that you have to you have to exemplify yourself as a leader and as a team player. Otherwise, you cannot achieve anything great in this world. Okay. So initially, you may be too much bothered about what you like and what you do. But eventually, you will be forced to see what others like. And that is the way to greatness. Okay. Not, not that you have to only focus on others. So you focus on yourself and also then on others. All right. Thank you everyone. Please take care and have a happy September. Jai Siaram.